Greetings, Sean here from Mahalo.com, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to share and find items on your local computer network. Browsing your local area network is a simple and easy task in Windows 7. If you have the network icon on your desktop, you can simply double click it. Although if you do not have the network icon on your desktop, you can simply click on the Start menu, then click on Control Panel, Network and Internet, then click on View Network Computers and Devices. And all we're seeing here is computers that have been made visible on the network. And these are all settings you can decide on your own computer. For instance, this computer is visible on the network because I have chosen to make it that way. And I do have a folder shared, the public share folder. So anybody on my network can access this folder. Although if I'd like to change these settings, I can simply click on Network and Sharing Center, then click on Change Advanced Sharing Settings. From this menu, I can control my sharing settings. For instance, whether or not I'm seen on the network. I can also turn on and off my file and printer sharing in public folders as well. There's also media streaming options. Let's say for instance you have an Xbox on your network and you'd like to stream video to it, you can turn that option on or off. There's also your file encryption, is the type of file encryption you use, and 128 is better than 40 to 56 bit encryption, although if you're working with older systems you might have to use 40 to 56 bit encryption. And you also have the ability to turn on password protected sharing or turn it off. So when other users try to access a file, they'll have to enter a password first. And there's also home group connections. This is whether or not you set your home group accesses your files, or whether or not user accounts that are the same on multiple computers are allowed to access your files. And that's the basics of setting up your sharing permissions in Windows 7. Also, as well as having the preset files shared, you can share any file you'd like. For instance, right now we have the public folder shared. Let's create a new folder to share with our network. Simply right click, click new, new folder. And then we'll just go right click, properties, and select sharing. This is where we'll decide whether or not the folder is shared on the network. In the advanced sharing settings, just simply click on share this folder. And this is where we can change the network name that's shared to the folder, and also permissions. Matting on how large or small your folder is, it could take a while for the permissions to change on that folder to being shared. So let's say we browse our own computer, and there we have it, the new folder is shared. There you go, that's the basics of browsing the network in Windows 7 and sharing files. If you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe, and feel free to rate and comment below, and thanks for watching.